Yes, that is correct, Master. She has been causing trouble to the point where I don't think our normal methods or protocols will work on her now. So, you come all the way down here to awaken me from my slumber just to ask me to put down some misbehaving local child. She is not a child anymore. She may act like one at times, but she is now at least 45 years old. Doesn't look like I care. You really are too weak to even feel for yourself. I do not care if you two are related by blood. If someone is opposing you to a point where not even your simplest orders will do anything to stop them, then you should kill them. <sighs> However, if you are desperate enough to come all the way down here just to have me talk with her when all of the plans have failed, I suppose it is quite a serious situation. So, you will help her know her place? Yes. After all, we're the leader for, anyways. <laughs> it did. Are you uh, doing better? Oh, yeah, I guess so. I don't know if it's better that I've known I've been experimented on for this long, or it would have been better just to never know. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I can understand that. What do you mean? You're... A simulation hologram. You're practically a creation of theirs. Well, uh, <laughs> not exactly true. Huh? It's, uh, it's a long story. Let's just say I've been in your shoot before. Hell, I remember going on nature walks when I was younger and, well, alive. <laughs> Wait, I remember going on nature walks, too. That was so long ago. I remember going with this kid named, uh, Glenn. I think it was... <laughs> Glenn Archer? Is, uh, is that what you're thinking of? Some short Irish kid with grayish dyed hair that was in some weird messy mullet? Yeah, that's him. Wow, I haven't heard that name in a while. He was so sweet and kind, and he was my best friend. Kind of like how you are. Wait a minute. Are you Glenn? What? No, 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 not at all. Why would you think that? <laughs> Why? You only do that voice crack when you're chuckling you're lying. <gasps> Wait, Glenn, is that really you? Oh, how are you here? How did you manage to become this weird hologram thing? Why are you this weird hologram thing? Does anyone know, know about this? D did you? Shush! Shush! Why, Glenn? Look, it's a completely long and very strange story that I would love to explain. I don't want anyone in this stupid place knowing about this, so I would love it if you kept your mouth shut and never mentioned this to anyone. As far as you know, I'm therapist IDXC, and I'm just part of your stupid simulation experiment shit. You never saw me, uh, uh, Glenn. You never saw me. You never knew that uh, Glenn was still alive. And you only know what Charles in this damn Supreme System has told you. D -d -d just play along, okay? Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, ma'am, uh, 
Did you have a great uh, session today? Uh, <clears throat> yes. Yes, I did. Thank you so much for this awesome session. I uh, thought so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I really thought that'd be the case. Well, <laughs> about... Yeah, sure thing. Great. I'll explain more about my situation next week, I promise. I shall see you for our next session. That's all for now, ma'am. Remember, may the powerful rule. Simulation complete. Thank you and may the powerful rule. Dish or something. But how? Nah. They said they'd explain it next week. I'm sure it can't be that confusing. Can it? Eh, anyways, I think I should just watch some TV just to, you know, clear my head. Hell, maybe some nature documentaries on right now. Edward was talking to Trevor when Douglas steamed by. He was pulling a train of heavy coal cars. Come on, Edward. Stop gossiping in the sun when there is work to be done. Later, Edward spoke to Douglas. Trevor and I are old friends, and you and he have a lot in common, too. We do, quizzed Douglas. And what would that be? Scrap, said Edward quietly. Douglas gasped. Don't mention that word. It makes me wheels wobble. It does the same to Trevor, replied Edward. He was being sent to the scrapyard, but the vicar and I saved him, and now he's really useful again. Even so, Sir Topham Hatt certainly does need another steam engine. together helps spread the risk posed by predators. The mothers form nursery herds where newborns are hidden among the older calves. A territorial male attaches himself to these nursing mothers and drives out any males older than a year. Welcome back, the Supreme. What would you like to do? Did you say anything? Not to do it. What the hell is going on with this TV? Are you uh, doing better? Ah, Opal. It's so good to see you awake after all this time. Did you enjoy the sweet dreams? I will ignore the screaming from down the hall. And simulation error has occurred in the Supreme System due to an unknown source. Please restart the system and try again. Thank you and may the powerful rule. Welcome to the main floor. Hey! This, this isn't funny! Reveal yourself! Whoever you are! <laughs> It's such a pleasure to finally meet you. Who are you? What are you? You made quite the name for yourself. The wild patient, the rebel, the thorn in the side for so many. Even your dear father and brother. Brother? I've never had a brother. It was just me and Jane. Is that what you really believe? <laughs> you never realized that maybe the genes of your American mother and your Irish father go much deeper than two girls. What about the deep roots of the Washington O'Diamond 
one life that even go to your younger blonde haired brother. My blonde haired brother? Do you mean Charles? The same prick that trapped me in here? He's my brother? And so, the pieces fall into place. Whether you realize it or not, young lady, your captors have always been related to you by blood, including me, your severely great grandfather on your mother's side. Then who. who even are you? My name. Well, I guess I kept you on the edge of your seat for long enough. My name <laughs> uh, is George Washington. However, you may call me what I really am. The Forefather. I am the original leader and creator of the Mark Masters. I've ruled over this place from 1789 to 1992, which is when I crowned your father as ruler, who then handed the crown over to your brother. I have done so much more for this world than you can ever imagine. After all, it was created out of a revenge plan. They all frowned upon those who oppressed them, so they signed that damn paper. I didn't. I had better things to do. <sighs> like cutting down cherry trees. <laughs> That's why I created this... This new world! People deserve to know that a world of freedom will bring a destruction and anarchy. They deserve a leader to rule this world, to bring order to the chaos. So, you've created all of this insanity out of all just a petty plan to just abomination the freedom that we were given? How fucked up is that? Yes, I want to, a perfect ruling to prevent all of this freedom. However, where this strange experimentation idea came from was not actually me. It was actually Kane's idea. My dad came up with it? Why? Your father came up with this idea because he believed that if we could rehabilitate certain people into making them think they're in a different world, a perfect world, then we wouldn't have to kill them and keep them at bay while we ruled the world the way we should. However, a few of you found out that there's a crack in the code but you certainly are the most determined to escape. You remind me of a young man that died a few months ago. Glenn, I think was his name. But that's besides the point. What is the matter at hand is that you are the biggest problem anyone has given us. You are rebellious. You are determined to leave. You are a parasite crawling on the skin of this operation. Like all parasites, they need to be cleansed so that they can change for the better. We live will be eradicated for good. You... you can't change me! I won't be a pawn in your game! I will escape and you... You can't stop me! Oh, I was hoping you would say that. It finally gives me a chance to reveal myself to you.
Corey, manifested and is seen in cell lot B, cell 00315. Do not enter the area within a 10 foot radius. All cells within that radius are going on lockdown. Hey, Dad! Look at that monster on the TV! <laughs> Wow, Charles, your <laughs> your detailed paperwork has certainly become less detailed, huh? <laughs> I guess my job. <laughs> I'm not what? <laughs> 